It's your voice, your vote. And in one week, Las Cruces voters will head to the polls to choose a new mayor. Seven candidates are vying for the position currently held by Ken Miyagashima, who has been mayor since 2007, but is not running for re-election. We wanted to know how the candidates plan to tackle issues facing the second largest city in the state, starting with crime. And here's how each of the candidates responded. I would definitely work with the police department and other agencies, law enforcement here that we have and partner up and try to reduce the increased crimes that we've had in property and auto burglaries. I know that uh, policies and procedures can be put into place. I know that we have to talk to our court system as well, talk to our judges, uh, let them know that people that, that have this type of behavior need to be held accountable. And so I would reach out and make sure that all the agencies involved with this are, are well versed in what's going on in our community and how we need to change that. So I would like to ensure that our police department is fully staffed and fully trained. Um, right now we know that we are short officers. Um, so by ensuring that we have enough officers, I think that'll make a difference because we'll actually have them more visually that people, you know, maybe think twice about committing a crime. Um, also, I want to ensure that they're fully trained. The police receive 140,000 calls a year, and that is absolutely swamping them with 190 police officers. One thing we need to do, one thing I will push for is to increase our number to 300. The first thing that needs to be done is, as mayor, you can't make laws, but you can make ordinances. You can go ahead and say, if, if there's a crime committed and there's an ordinance for it, you can pay the consequences. You can make fines, and if the fines can't be paid, then you can do jail time. Uh, well, my first priority is public safety for sure, and what I would do is I would be able to, I would provide more uh, police presence in our community because I believe that that deters crime. We have to look at the root causes to what, you know, cr why crime happens, and those are things like poverty. I live in one of the most distressed neighborhoods in our, com in our, our city, and when I talk about distress, there's an indexing tool that you use. Um, and we're, our poverty is like 34 percent in this in this area, and so ensuring that people have their basic needs, right? Partnering with our nonprofits and our private right our private businesses to really address those things. The first thing that I presented throughout the campaign is to increase the number of police service aides that uh, are uh, on staff at the police department. And with extra police service aids, we can transition some of the non-emergent calls that the police department gets to those police service aids and get them tr practice and trained responding to non-emergent calls, meeting the community, building rapport and taking reports, um, which would free up um, fully uniformed police officers to respond to more emergent uh, situations or current break-ins. And tomorrow here on ABC 7 at 4, we'll ask each of the candidates how they plan to tackle the drug and alcohol abuse problem in Las Cruces.